everybody, welcome to Spiky Saturday number 294 on the Mana Leak. I'm John, as always, and we're going to play more AFR, which just, just released in paper yesterday. That's wild. <laughs> the format is kind of dead. It's been solved. It's over. And it just came out in paper. We're going to take a Nadar Selfless Paladin. I've not played with Nadar yet, but it's low cost and attacks well. And that's what you do in this format, is you p play low-cost creatures and attack well. So we'll take Nadar. Following that, um, what do we got? A rare was taken. I'm looking at the Valor Singer, the Hoarding Ogre, because rare, red is... Like... Untestedly. They clearly didn't test the format. Red is so deep and good. Uh, and blue, on the other hand, is horrible garbage. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking at Valor Singer and Hoarding Ogre. I don't want a dragon. I don't want a bag of holding. I could take the Evolving Wilds, basically, card here. Um, I could cut white. You know, here's an, here's another example. Pack, two, pack one, pick two. A rare was taken. It should have no effect on the color distribution. We have one white card here. And it's trash. And one black card. Yeah, let's take a let's take a Valor Singer. It does some good early aggro attacks, but that was a very weak pack. Getting past a Sphere of Annihilation is kind of nutty. It's a very good card. People don't seem to understand that a splashable, easy to play, potentially asymmetrical board wipe is really good. Beyond that, there's a Knoll Hunter that I'm looking at. Red obviously has already been cut from this pack, um, which means there was, what, one red card? Possibly a second one in the uncommon slot. Um, there is one white card. I don't know what's going on with balance these days, folks, but the packs... If there's not going to be some sort of semblance, I don't need like exactly two colors, two cards of every color, but if there's not going to be some semblance of color distribution in the packs, draft is kind of ruined because there's no such thing as signals. You know, is red being cut here or is white being cut here? Probably not. It's pick three. That's it's, it's tough. I don't know what they're doing. We got a Moonblast Cleric here, which can do some real work. Uh, minimus Containments are great. This fetches all of our classes that if we could pick up. I'll take that over a Dwarf Hold Champion here. Um, there's a Druid class. Green White loves a Druid class quite a bit. Uh, but we'll take the Moonblast Cleric. Because this, this is an artifact, okay? Not an enchantment. But yeah, we'll take the Moonblast Cleric. Goes with our Nadar. Nadar is a dragon, yeah? Yeah. So I wouldn't actually hate the Dragon's Disciple here. It's not good, but I have played it a little bit. And there's enough dragons, especially Nadar-like Dragonborn, um, namely the Cell Sword in red, that you can actually get Dragon's Disciple to be a 2-4 without too, too much work. Because it also cares if a dragon's on the board. So if you have, you know, an early 4-drop, early 4-drop, dragon uh it'll still get those counters i like it more than the cleric i like it more than the paladin i'm pretty sure i want to be white we'll figure out what other color we want to be later so if we want to explore white green life gain sylvan shepherd's a way to get in there uh looks like this table obviously is aware that red is the color to be we just have a swarming goblins here and if everybody knows how to break this format then I guess we're going to have to be ones to not do the right thing, which means we probably lose. Because that is how unbalanced this format is. Um, but we can try. We can try. And Lurking Roper with like a Sylvan Shepherd or anything that gains us life every turn, this thing basically has, this thing is basically a 4-5 Vigilance for 3, which is unreasonable. So let's pick that up, and I think we're going to go green-white here. Moon Druid is fine. Enables some of those big attacks early on. Don't care for the bow. Not going to go into any other color for any of these. Ambushed on a road's fine, but meh. Let's get rid of that Valor Singer. And maybe we still splash the sphere. We'll see. Um, but yeah, this is the best format of 2021 so far. That is a, a bar so low that the world champion Limboer could not get under it. Um, but yeah, 
we'll see how we get through the remaining 10 weeks or so until the next format. Uh, but this might be the fastest that I've ever seen a format just like hit a wall. It doesn't seem like many people like this format. Most like big streamers I've seen have been <laughs> some having existential crises on whether or not they should continue to play magic due to this format. Uh, we've got a boulette, which is fine. There's a mace, which is fine. I'm not taking a find the path. The card's not good. Um, I guess I'll take the mace. The The problem I found with the green-white deck is you need Steadfast Paladins, and unfortunately, literally every white deck wants Steadfast Paladins. They're vital to the green-white deck, but every deck wants them, and that's no bueno. Compelled Duel is not playable. I do not care for it in any way, shape, or form. We'll take a Spiked Pit Trap. Um, Direwolf Prowler or a Bard. Bard is ever so slightly more what this deck wants to be doing. But unfortunately, Red-White is kind of like just below Red-Black for best deck in the format, so we will be fighting for White, I think. I don't really want a Paladin Shield. I guess we'll take this Boulette. Um, yeah, I'm not going to play a Compelled Duel. I lost to a Mono Green Compelled Duel deck. And it wasn't the Compelled Duels that did it. It was not the Mono Green that did it. It was the fact that I drew 20 lands in two games. In about seven turns each. Um, I mean, we have to take Adult Gold Dragon. I've played this card so many times. Uh, we want that Unicorn. Maybe it'll come back around. Unlike the Steadfast Paladin, most white decks don't want this Unicorn. Uh, whereas I desperately want this Unicorn. I would also love this Intrepid Outlander, but Adult Gold Dragon is just an incredibly good splash. So we'll pick that up. Probably won't be splashing the Sphere. I would rather splash the Dragon. Um, well, we get a long rest as long as we have enough creatures of different thingies. This should be fine. It's a four mana regrowth, which is also not the literal worst thing in the world, except for the fact that this format is crazy fast, but I've played it. I've not hated it, so we'll pick it up. But boy, I need, I need some white creatures and I need some stuff for this deck to work. And then I'm going to go O2 and I'm just going to feel sad that I should have gone hyper super mega aggro. Celestial Unicorn, we need to get some of these. We've already got Sylvan Shepherd. We've already got um, Bard. We've got Gold Dragon. We've got ways of gaining life here. It's better than the ally. It's better than the monk. It's probably not better than the hole, but it's very important for my deck here. Here we've got <sighs> not great cards. You find a Cursed Idol has been useful. Delver's Torch has not. Scaled Herbalist has not. Bull Strength has been nice. But I'll take the first you find a Cursed Idol. We'll see if we main deck it or side it in. Dwarf Hold Champion's fine. Gets us that early aggro. Holds a mace really well. I do not care for Elter Guard Ranger. I've literally never felt any pressure from when my opponents have played it. Uh, Null Hunter, nice low aggro. Literally nothing here. Like I don't want another bard, so I guess we'll take it, but I'm not gonna play it. I just I wish. I wish the draft portion didn't suck anymore, but it seems like wizards can't make a draft portion that's in any way, shape, or fun, any way, shape, or form fun anymore. It's just, it's extraordinarily bad signals. It's incredibly hard to figure out what you're supposed to be doing. And I think, I think that's the plan. I think that's what they want draft to be. I think they want draft to be, pick whatever you want. You'll end up with a playable deck. 
literally every deck can go 3-0 out of the draft. Roll some dice, see who wins. Which is not... It's not draft. It's constructed with more steps. So let's hope. Let's hope. I have high hopes for Innistrad. Uh, I've probably talked about this before on Spiky Saturday. I've definitely talked about it on stream. Um, I did a deep dive on developers. Specifically lead developers of sets. Uh, so sets have designers and they have developers. Designers are like we should venture into dungeons which give you powers hi venturing into dungeons uh those powers can be counters and gain life in scry and the developers are like ah it should be scry one and then it should be scry two and then it should be make two one ones so developers do like the numbers and the balancing and stuff designers do the high level stuff uh, there's a lot of people in design. There's a lot of people in development. There's a lead developer. They kind of are the head honcho of the set. I'm sure I've talked about this on Spiky Saturday. There is one lead developer who, if he is the lead developer on a set, it's something like 85 to 90% likely that it will be one of my favorites of all time. Original Innistrad, Eldritch Moon, um, Eldrain, Zendikar Rising, etc. His name is Eric Lauer. He has not even been involved, as far as I know, as far as I can remember, in any of the sets this year, and definitely didn't even touch this set, which I suspect means that he's working on Innistrad. So there's like an 85 to 90% chance that I'm going to love Innistrad. We'll take another lurking roper here again. We're going to hopefully start gaining some more life and these basically have vigilance at that point and they're nuts. Um, I don't need another druid. I don't need a dungeoneer. On the flip side, there is a, a developer who, if he is the lead developer, there's like an 85 to 90% chance that it's one of my least favorite formats of all time. So I don't want a stalker. I don't want a paladin. I don't want an herbalist. I don't want a ranger. Dead pack for us. This is pack three? Crap. I got so busy talking about interesting stuff that I thought this was still pack two. Um, I guess we'll take this stupid ranger. We're not going to splash this spear. There's a paladin. Get in the deck. Um, yeah, I mean, like, theoretically, this means that our deck is being cut ultra hard except we just got past a paladin which means that this pack probably just didn't have any white in it or much relevant green i'm i'm so curious if this is an actual thing because it's happening draft in draft out like am i forgetting that this has always happened? Or is this new? We'll take a Circle of the Moon Druid here. Because I, I don't want to play a Find the Path. I, I already have a Plummet. I don't want to play an Herbalist. Um, I will play a Planar Ally probably over this Elder Guard Ranger, to be honest. I, I don't care for that card. So we might be completing a dungeon. Like, we've got an Ally. We've got an Adar. So dragon count is it still just two? Um, although no, 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 no. You happen upon a glade. I always forget that it's full on fixing. We need that to get our mountain. So we'll pop that in. Uh, we'll take another compelled duel. I'm not going to play it. Veteran dungeoneer over a bard. I don't hate that. Nope, not golem. Veteran dungeoneer. Um, but yeah, we'll see if we can stick a Planeswalker and win. Because that's how magic works. Uh, do we need this Moon Blessed Cleric? We didn't get any Minimus Containments. We didn't get any class. No, we don't need that Cleric. Well, we completely whiffed on removal, but 
We'll see if we can just get there with no removal. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I found these drafts virtually impossible. I don't know if it's the drafters. I don't know if it's the packs. I don't know if it's the sets. But I'm finding drafts virtually impossible to navigate anymore. Um, 773. This is a, this is a mountain. Um, 872. Yeah, let's go with 872. I'm finding drafts virtually impossible to navigate anymore. It feels like there's not, it feels like there's not a path. It feels like you're just supposed to do whatever you feel like. And that's why I'm playing a lot of Sushi Go and Draftosaurus. Which is super fun. All right, so we'll just jam Nadar and go on some adventures here. Ranger's Hawk, trying to be aggro. So you are, I've never played you. You are ETB and attack adventure. And if we complete, you're an anthem. Cool. Opponents on red. We can play the game of count how many red players we see. Give you a hint. It's going to be a lot. Not wanting to trade is a strange choice, I will say. Um, so this is probably going to snap die. So I guess we want to scry. Dragon's Disciple. If it doesn't snap die, that's a 2-4. But I mean, this is going to eat a dragon slayer right here, right now. Spare dagger. All right. You know I have a 2-2 lifelinker, right? Okay, you're not going to attack. That's fair. That's fair. Um, Yeah, let's come in with said 2-2 lifelinker. I like this race. Ooh, block. Sold. Oh, you've got a ambush thingy? Sure. Whatevs. Whatevs. Let's drop this. Get a 2-4. Give this ward one. We need to get rid of that veteran. Kick in the door? Sure. I wish you could look at an opponent's deck after a match. Because I'm going to bet this person's playing 15 lands or lower. All right, so we will come in for two. Why did I come in for two? Why did I still think that was a 4-2? It was clearly a 4-3. It was all part of my plan to make this a 4-4. <laughs> Ow. This card's unreasonable. Printing this card at Uncommon is an actual, like, wizard you done effed up. So we could play Ellie Wick. She's not under massive pressure here. So we can venture on into the dungeon, make a goblino. Pass the turn. Mm, I miss when magic didn't suck. Yeah, this card's unreasonable. Like, wizards, you can't make a set to save your lives. You're really, really bad at it. Equip the Garrett Great X. Yeah, to the bird. Kill Eliwick. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Good job. Good job. This format is garbage. It's really, really bad, and I want Watsy to fail. It sucks, man. 
this format absolutely sucks. Um, I assume I want Nadar back, right? Yeah, I want Nadar back. Like, at least they strangely traded Brunor. I don't know what the hell they were thinking there. They should have done the Armory Veteran. Because Brunor would have let them do free equips with their very minimal amount of mana. Oh, of course. You shouldn't play this format. You just shouldn't. You should not give Watsi your money for this format. They don't deserve it. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's the best of 2021, but it's really friggin' bad. So why did they take that much damage? Like, are we just gonna win here? I don't feel good about this win. I don't feel good about any of this game. You can't attack me, right? Three blockers. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, show me what you got, but I'm pretty sure you're dead. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. That was not our game to win, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, let's go. Like, that was not me playing well to win the game. That was our opponent playing extraordinarily badly to give us the game. So I guess we can win that way. Maybe that's the upside. Maybe that's the upside. As draft becomes so much more an activity where you just take whatever you feel like and throw the deck together, we get worse and worse players. And that is the edge that I have, I suppose. Play your bird. But I'm 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 shocked how rapidly this set just hit a wall. Like this format's garbage. Why why didn't you equip that? It's free. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Okay. I would have scribed, but sure. There you go. This is the stupidest way to die. we even do anything here? I don't think so. Like, next turn they've got a dragon. What a shit format. Like, I guess if we can somehow deal two damage and they don't have a land in hand. This format's garbage. Like, if you just watch that game and you want to argue in the comments, I will flat out ban you from the comments for life. 
this format's garbage. And that was a key example of just how garbage this format is. And it's still somehow the best of 2021. <laughs> Like, that shouldn't happen in Magic. If that happens in Magic, you have utterly failed at designing a, a limited set. <clears throat> sure. Give him the armor. Give him the armor. There you go. Let's go with... I don't know. Do I think there's still going to be a really bad player and attack me? Doubt it. I doubt it. Let's go with Nadar. Scry, see if we can find a land. Yeah, I'll need lands. We can get Eliwit going. <clears throat> sure. So we get an adult gold dragon here, so... This is probably our opening. Oops, play my land. Thank you. <clears throat> sure. Sure. You're not the aggressor. In for four. Drop a roper. I mean, I guess they weren't blocking, but I don't think they figured out that they're not the aggressor. Battle hammer, I don't think we care about at this point. And we've got a super easy kill with spiked pit trap. Assuming we find a land. Uh, mace we can't equip um, yeah it's flying for four let's drop an Eliwick let's venture on into the dungeon get ourselves a goblin and this should be our game paladin shield sure Equipment should never be printed again. I think equipment is one of the big, big problematic parts. I mean, I would have forced the attack, but you can do whatever you want, I suppose. All right, let's suit up the dragon and win. <clears throat> Boop. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I just want to drive a Zendikar Rising. That set was good. That set was real good. I was still grappling with whether or not this set is bad. For the first week and a half or so, I was I was I was adamant that the set was not bad, but it was not good. After that game too, the set's probably just bad. Um here's the mana system on full display. Let's mulligan that. Here's the mana system on full display. Let's keep that. Wizard class. Show me a mountain. It's illegal to not play red. Green. How dare. Direwolf Prowler, sure. This block's a direwolf prowler. Pretty well. Plus, we can attack with Roper, Veteran Dungeoneer, go into the Mad Mage, untap Roper.
I really hope there's not somebody above Eric Lauer that like trashes his designs. That would suck. That would suck a lot. All right, so they're just going to try to do this kind of BS. No pump, eh? So you are going to divination, I suppose, afterwards? Scry divination is pretty good. And there's the divination. All right, so we're going to come in for four. We are going to dungeoneer and untap that. <clears throat> we are going to want to pit trap that prowler at some point or something else perhaps we'll see i don't know magic doesn't feel interactive anymore that might be what it is like with equipment and with aggro it just feels like magic is slam into each other and see who wins and that's not fun all right, so you're going to pretend that you can do something against my lurking roper here. What can you do? You can pump and bull strength. I mean, I think I'm fine with that. Get a bull strength out of your hand. We still just get to spike to pit trap it next turn. And we get to play a boulette, and it'll be a 4 4. Pump. Bull strength. Oils. Okay, sure. So, that's fantastic. <laughs> that went better than I could have ever imagined. We'll spike Pit Trap. Probably whatever they play here. I wonder if maybe they thought Spoils always gave plus one. I wonder if maybe they mistook it for... Um that other card mark of the hunter absolutely no play what's your plan oh layer of the hydra we could just kill layer of the hydra that's a bad idea friendo Bad idea. I'll take a stone rain. <laughs> All right. Ray of Frost, so forever tap? Sure, that's fine. A okay. Um I feel like they've had a bar of the door for a while. So I'm not going to drop that gold dragon here. We're going to get in for three. Cyan of Stygia? Sure. Um, well. Let's drop it now. They ain't got to bar the door at the moment. <clears throat> Soul Knife Spy? Card's decent. Alright, so we're obviously going to seven them here. Tap it? Sure. Three you. Three you good. And let's drop a troll to convince them to not attack. They're going to have to draw one hell of a card off that attack to uh, not just die. Casting that should kill them, I think. There's not much for two mana that's going to stop what I'm going to do. Top bottom. 
three mana. Eccentric Apprentice. Well, that's a one-turn flying blocker, I guess. And they get a goblin. Okay. They've held things off briefly, but still don't think it's going to be enough. I'll easily trade this troll for that spy if they come in. They do not. In for sure. Uh, in, they must block it. And in, they don't have to block it. But they probably want to. And this is what, six to activate? Four to activate, Jesus. Why is that only four to activate? Um, sure, these are great blocks. And it's not sorcery speed, right? It is not sorcery speed. So we'll go shepherd, pass the turn. And what is it? Library Hand Battlefield? Library Hand Battlefield. Play rares, win games. So theoretically they should have more flyers. They have fly, which means everything's a flyer. They have apprentice. I might put in a plummet here. And cursed idol. Uh, they probably have a charm sleep. It would kill the fly. It would also kill wizard class. So we'll keep that in. I suspect we don't need the mace that badly. Yeah, let's cut a mace. Let's go back in. I think my last seven drafts, six or seven drafts have been 2-1. I've not trophied since like the first week, but I've virtually done nothing but 2-1s. I've never had an 0-2, and I've had a small handful of 1-2s. But I've 2 and one just absolutely nonstop. More than that, I have two owed non-stop, and I can't turn the 2-0 into a 3-0, it seems. It's a good start. We can get an early wizard class. We can cast a spiked pit trap on turn one, which gives them an idea of what's going to happen. And then we've got Circle of the Moon Druid to clean up. They've already mulled the six. Keeping their six sounds good. Pass that turn. Flash in pit trap. So Guild Thief, they're going to look to cheese some wins here. So let's attempt to not let them cheese some wins. I think we race. I think we race Pit Trap versus Guild Thief. I don't want to do all the math on that. It'll be three while I'm at three. It'll be four while I'm at four. It'll be five while I'm at five, and we can deal five to it. Yeah. Um, let's go with a Lurking Roper. Although we do need to find that fifth land on time. There's the Wizard class that we're going to blow up. Arcane Investigator. Hey, we don't even have to race the Thief because they can't make it unblockable yet. Um, yeah, let's murder the wizard class right here, right now. Boop. No attacks. We're going to have to deal with that apprentice. Splacer Beast, sure. This is nuts what they're doing on three mana. Um, I'm still not fearing the pit trap for anything just yet, so let's, um, let's get in for four Dungeoneer, gain a life on tap. Let's get some pressure going on him. Dungeoneer, Mad Mage, gain a life on tap. Because if I can threaten like seven a turn to their two a turn, it's all fine. No way are you guild thiefing with that treasure. No way. No way. Not with a pit trap on the field. You're going to fly your investigator. Okay. So you think, you think we're going to race here, eh? You should drain, I think. No, you've minus four, minus oh. 
Um, so we're on six. Um, I'm certainly going to come in for three, and then I think we'll drop a couple of Circle of the Moon Druids here. Just even more pressure. But, like, they're threatening to win this game on three mana. <laughs> That's nuts. That's nuts. That tells you how powerful cards are these days. Do they have a bar of the door? No, they've got a Spoils of the Hunt? Sure. Whatever. What haves? I'll take four. We're going to threaten seven back. And if we find a land, we can even pit trap. Ooh. Cool. Uh, well, let's eight them. See if we can in any way slow this down a bit. Sure. Take four. Let's drop a Knoll Hunter. And then we can pit trap probably the Investigator. Actually, they'll probably just pay to make that Guild Thief unblockable, eh? But I think we've lost this one. Our opponent did the aggro thing, and we didn't do the aggro thing. Don't block. If you're blocking in this format, you're a moron. Well, actually, we're going to block here if they come in with that Arcane Investigator. <laughs> TBH. They did not? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's kill the Guild Thief. Uh, we need adult gold dragon on top, basically, right now. That would change this game heavily. Heavily. Jesus. It's a land. Cool. GG. Fun times. Very good game. Very good game. Well designed. So we block the giant. Go to one. <laughs> down to one that ain't gonna do it don't block if you're blocking you're an idiot only attack always attack nothing but attack second plummet's coming in spiked pit trap can probably just go although it is really good against this guild thief which is another just absolutely problematic card if you can't interact with it. Yeah, let's cut the trap. I don't know, this format is pushing me to my limits, I think. Play first. Seems good. <clears throat> Don't be guild thief. I friggin' asked and everything, man. Asked and everything. Well, here's my favorite. Attack for six on turn four. Charm sleep. I was wondering if you had one of those. Turns out you did. In for two. Guess what? I've got another one.
If Innistrad is this bad, I probably have to quit magic. And I don't think I'm being hyperbolic at all there. I think I actually just have to quit. Because I think at that point, it will be far too much of a... A signal that magic has just changed into something that I find deeply unfun. That's weird ass blocks, but sure. Um, I'm gonna buy back. I see what you're trying to do, Auto Tapper. I'm gonna buy back that Null Hunter. Pass the turn, love it. Let's get in for two. Despair the door, exile. I don't think it does. I think it just counters. Let's drop a loathsome troll. Play a mountain, sure. All right, so we get to start abyssing them with this troll. Very slow abyss, but kind of along the same lines. I think the solution is Arena needs to actually do flashback drafts, but they never do. Not best of three. Guess we'll die to mythics then, eh? Guess we'll die to mythics then. It's a rare? Why the hell is that a rare? Okay. I wonder if somebody left Watsy, who was really good at limited design. I know I think when Zach Hill left was the start of more and more and more and more sets that I think were very bad. But I wonder if somebody else left. Um, all right, let's keep the pressure going. This bull strength should do some work. This is eight, nine, ten. This is lethal coming at them. And we can probably get rid of Volo here. Oh, god damn, I want to see what the trick is. What do you think you're gonna do to me? What do you think you're gonna do to me? I don't want to go to damage though because they might have nothing and these might just be really bad blocks. Yeah, you tell me what you think you're gonna do to me here. If it spoils the hunt, we get blown out. Oh, that's fine. Uh, it's not fine, but it's fine. That's not a good card. Gain three life, that's fine. It's a human, or it's an elf or something. Oh, interesting. Why didn't that copy? Oh god, Volo was graveyard too? Volo is way worse than I thought. It's Graveyard 2? That card is so much worse than I thought. It's still good, but that explains why it's a rare.
our opponent has never read the word graveyard either. So we're in the same boat here. I never knew it was graveyard. Fly, sure, whatever. You are not attacking me. Literal zero chance you're attacking me here. Okie dokes. Give me a plummet one time. Stop with the frickin' lands. Um. Yeah, I mean, we'll kill your bird. I got no qualms with killing your bird. Deal. Don't make me die to land issues. That will make me quit magic. Goblin, sure. Land. Planner ally. So did you top deck a bar of the door? You did not. What'd you top deck? You, you put something on top, did you not? Weird. Genie Windseer. Get a second Genie Windseer, and we lose to rares. Hooray. All right, fun times had by literally everyone. Literally everyone. Everyone had just a great time today. And our opponent's not attacking. Okay. Okay. Um, boy, there's a variety of things that I could blow up, eh? Could blow up the fly. But then Volo is just going to be a dumb enchantment, basically. It's probably better if I blow up the Ray of Frost. Ray of... Why is Ray of Frost an enchantment? It's a terrible name for an enchantment. Um, Because then we have our Abyss going again. Yeah, I think we blow up the Ray of Frost. And then, do we attack in just to make sure we have the scry going? Or do we play it a little bit more safe? I think we play it a little bit more safe. Hmm. Land. Snowbally BS. Snowbally BS. I retract my statement. There's no reason that this should be rare. Absolutely no reason it should be rare. I don't care. I'll take nine, whatever. Absolutely no reason that should be rare. Sure, enjoy a counter, have a 6-6, six, six, whatever, I don't care. My god, is this format bad. All right, let's see if we can 2-1. Let's see if we can 2-1. Because I don't want to play Magic anymore. I am probably at the point where I will draft once for spiky saturday and i'll draft two or three times for streams and i will never touch the format ever again which is wild wild that it literally just came out in paper today that makes this the fastest fastest absolute fastest i've ever turned on a format Like Strixhaven I was with for at least a few weeks. Guess we'll die to rares. Um Hell time I feel I was on for a few weeks. But this format hit a wall around like day three. <laughs> We're going to do the surprise untap. Get ems.
interesting that they didn't activate the pack leader. Uh, I'll trade pack leader if you want. Sure. Sure thing. <clears throat> Like surely, ha surely magic hasn't flat out forgotten how to make a set, right? Like flat out forgotten. But maybe they have. Maybe they have. <sighs> Sylvan Shepherd, sure. So that Knoll Hunter is going to start getting pretty freaking unreasonable. Get in there, Bullet. Get in there. We're both staring at each other, seeing who starts the snowball EBS first. All right, well, I'm the one with long rest in my hand, so. Um, all of these blocks suck. Um, let's get rid of the currently going to be 4-4. Four, four. <clears throat> because our bullet will not become a 4-4 four, because four, that's not how that works. Um, I guess we only have two three drops in there, eh? Whoa. Oh, I can return any card? This is not permanent. Cool. Um, yeah, let's go Bull Strength and Roper. And we'll pass the turn with them knowing we have a Bull Strength up, but it should do some work. They really need to trigger that Cleric class. There you go. You don't have good attacks, though. You'll just come in with the Dragon. I mean, I guess I'm at five, so it doesn't matter. So I guess they did have good attacks. I forgot that they had already begun the snowball. Guess I'll die. Uh, we're not dead yet, because they don't have life gain. And we could have rolled high. I have not rolled a 20 in a billion years. Rolled a whole lot of ones. Rolled a whole lot of ones. Oh, and they get to bring back whatever they want. Put a counter on Green Dragon. So we're going to one. Okay. Guess we'll die to rares. This format's a pile of crap. Uh, well, they have one dragon. I guess that's acceptable for one plummet. They have a great cursed idol target. This format sucks. I 
I also wish Arena would actually match make properly. I played Umotivo MTG yesterday, uh, who's a Portuguese streamer, I think, and then afterwards went and checked out his side of the match, and he was 2 0, and I was 1 1. So if you weren't aware, Arena doesn't even match it properly. Arena doesn't give a shit. You give Arena your money, that's all they care about. Keep giving Arena your money. Keep giving Arena your cash. Firewolf Prowler, that's a pretty damn big attack next turn, and we're just utterly boned on colors. Cool. Cool bean arenos. Cool bean arenos. Scry. There's the forest that I need. Thank you. <clears throat> Attack me for seven on turn six because that's what apparently is reasonable limited magic in 2021. Let me let me let me, let me just say that again. Turn four. Attack for seven. Take me back to when Watsy knew what they were doing, please. Please? Okay, I'll take four. Four at. Um, so if we attack in, what are they going to kill? Unicorn? I would not attack with Nadar here. Um, I mean, if they have any bite spells, we're just ruined. Like cheap green creature and two instant speed bite spells in the same format? That's just more evidence that I'm positive they have no clue what they're doing. That's not balanced. That's just making every deck be incredible. I guess we come in with Unicorn, because I'd happily trade that with Basilisk, but I expect they just take three. Okay, that's fine. Get rid of that right there, right then? That, that's fine, that's super fine. Super duper fine. So that means they don't have any instant speed bite spells in hand, or they would have kept that back. <clears throat> I still would have attacked in for seven here. Mine's just as big as yours. Happen on a glade. You um. You uh. You want to trade rares? What if we just traded rares? It'd be cool, right? Probably don't have another bull strength. Okay. Okie dokes. Um, Okie dokes.
No blocks. Guess I'll die to mono rares. Guess I'll die to mono rares. Why does a jelly have trample? It doesn't make any sense. I'm going to click this button and we're going to end this video. Thanks for watching. Let me know whatever you want to let me know. I'm going to stop playing this format for anything that isn't content because it's really freaking bad. I wish they could make a format that didn't suck absolute balls.